What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now ladies and gentlemen, today I wanted to go ahead and put this video together because I saw some information about X Define that dropped the other day. And it's not looking too hot. Now, in today's video, I do have a handful of things that I do want to go and discuss, you know, other topics regarding X Define. But at the end of the day, I think, you know, the final discussion point is really going to worry a decent amount of you guys out there. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead and dive deep, if you are interested in more content just like this, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell. Post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time, anything like Model Over 3 or X Defiant. And last but not least, if you guys are interested in any of my live streams, I do that pretty much daily besides Sundays over on Kick. That usually goes live around 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern time. And you guys can find a link to that channel down in the description of this video. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I do want to go ahead and start off this video with a little side topic. It's still about X Define, but it's not really about the main topic of today's video. But obviously, I'm not going to go ahead and make a whole different video about this. Not really much to talk about. I just thought it was pretty interesting and sounded cool. But as you can see right here, X Define might add a limited time mode where it is a 1v6, but you have increased stats like a raid boss. That actually sounds really badass, does it not? So basically, you know, you're a god. If you're on the team by yourself, you are a god. You basically have, like, you know, in Call of Duty terms, a specialist bonus. You're going to get pretty much everything you could possibly imagine. You're going to be a beast, and you have to go up against six other opponents. It sounds pretty interesting. Again, it's not completely grounded yet, and it's not 1,010% confirmed that it is going to be introduced into the game, and it is being advertised as a limited time mode. So it's not like it's going to be something officially in the game for life. But at the end of the day, I still think it sounds pretty darn decent. And I would love to know what your guys' feedback is on this overall mood here. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the main topic of today's video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, all across the internet, people have been getting really excited for X Define, especially with a lot of the news and information that's been releasing recently. You know, as you can see right here from Prestigious Key, a lot of other people have been running into this as well. Update rolled out for X Defined and removed beta from the title as well. As you can see right here, you know, X Defined version 1.000.006. Blah, 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 blah. You already know the deal. But a lot of people are starting to get updates. People are starting to witness, you know, the X Defiant currency within the store. They're starting to see a bunch of, you know, payment options, so on and so forth, basically indicating that, yes, indeed, the game is going to be coming very shortly. So, yes, people have been extremely, when I say extremely, I mean extremely excited because the long wait from what we have been seeing is finally coming to an end. But ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I, I hate to have to bring you guys this news, but it is what it is. It has to go ahead and be discussed. Tom Henderson put out a post a little while ago, and Tom Henderson, if you don't know who this individual is, basically he's a leaker, and he has tons of extremely reliable sources behind the scenes. So, you know, if, it's, if there's anyone to believe, I definitely believe a lot of what this man has to say. But he was responding to a post by Soap, saying, you can now update x Define on PS and open the game. Currently, you can't get past the main menu. And again, a lot of people are excited about that, right? But Tom Henderson says, don't expect to be playing it any time soon. Not canned. It's just in a bit of a rut, and I expect it to miss its late March release. Could be wrong, though. The fact that he even put out the words saying not canned, the fact that he has to verify that it's not canned, is what worries me right here. There's no reason or need at all to say that this game has been removed. You could say, oh, you know, it's not postponed again, and it's not, and it's not many problems going on or something like that. It just might need a little extra time to cook or something in the oven. No, he straight up says, yeah, it, it, it's not canned. You know, it's not being completely stripped, which makes me think, were they thinking about this behind the scenes? Was Ubisoft actually debating on cutting X Defined. You know, you got to think of this realistically, guys. Seriously. I know X Defined's an extremely fun game. I had a blast playing it. And the developers are just freaking awesome. I love them all. But at the end of the day, Ubisoft is still going to have the final say. And if they don't want this game to go ahead and launch, then guess what? It's not going to go ahead and launch. It doesn't matter how much effort the developers put into the game, how passionate they are about the project, how much they love their community, and how open they are with their community. It doesn't matter whatsoever. If Ubisoft says, yep, this isn't dropping, then guess what? It's not dropping. So... It concerns me that Tom Henderson would even bother saying it's not canned in the first place because that makes me think behind the scenes that that was a possibility at some point in time. I don't know when it was a possibility. It could have been a month ago, a year ago. It could have been many years ago when the game was just first in initial stage and they were thinking about going ahead and canning it. But regardless, at the end of the day, that is not a good sounding phrase right there. And also the fact that it is in a bit of a rut right now and he expects it to miss the late March release, is also concerning me, because from the way the developers are going ahead and making it sound, it seems 
that they're progressing pretty nicely. And again, this goes against everything that we're witnessing. You know, we see the, the X defined currency in the store. We're going ahead and seeing the game being, you know, being able to be downloaded. People can hop into the main menu. But in all reality, it's still just it it's a mess. I I I personally don't understand because like I said, I played both the closed and open beta. I've been following this game since the second it's been talked about. I've been following the developers. Everything sounds so good right now. Everything sounds outstanding. So there's a couple of things here. Either the developers are lying and, you know, things aren't good behind the scenes or Tom Henderson is full of crap right now. But honestly, I have to be real. I know a lot of people are going to, you know, hate me for this, but I'm siding with Tom Henderson on this one as much as I love. I love the developers at X Defined and I have a lot of faith in them to put out a good project. At the end of the day... You have to understand, they still have to make sure they keep their jobs and they keep this game alive and they can push it out and Ubisoft won't cut it. So they'll say what they got to say. They're not going to tell you the horrifying things behind the scenes. They're not going to tell you if this game is about to get canned. They're not going to tell you if, you know, if it's going to be delayed for another half a year. They're not going to tell you if the game just exploded. They're not going to tell you any of this stuff. The main thing they told us was the servers and the party system was just gunked up and they had to go out and work on that, you know, because last time we played the game... It worked nicely. I didn't have that many problems, but of course the parting system was a huge issue and that is something that they wanted to go ahead and resolve. So they took it off. Uh, they postponed it a little bit. They worked on it. The developers came out and said that it's working great. Things are just in a fantastic state now. And like I said, now we're hearing that, you know, it's in a bit of a rut again. What could it possibly be in a rut for, right? Like uh, that's what I'm trying to think of right now. What what could possibly be going on behind the scenes that could really be devastating for X to find and making it postpone itself again? It, it makes me a tad bit worried because the only reason it would need to be postponed this many times is if something is seriously wrong and the developers aren't being open about, you know, the current problems. Because personally, I don't think a party system is going to make them postpone the game again for, you know, more than two, three, four months. You know, I, I don't think that would really be a cause. But what really disappoints me about all of this is the fact that X-Define is once again missing their window. I think that's the most crucial thing to take away from all of this. You know, even though it is concerning to hear that, you know, Tom Henderson would still put the words out saying it's not canned like it, you know, was even a thought before. And also the fact that it's in a rut at the moment. Still, the biggest thing that concerns me is the fact that it's once again missing its window. I thought that now would be the best time. I'll be honest with you guys, you know, we're basically approaching the mid-season of Modern Warfare 3, that's usually when the hype dies down, and as we all know, x Define is going to be Call of Duty's main competitor, it literally is, whether we want to think that or not, whether the developers want to claim it or not, at the end of the day, a lot of the people who are going to be playing x Define are going to be Call of Duty fans, so you want to make sure you strike at the perfect moment, and they're missing it again. If it's not going to come late March, that means more than likely we will see it at the beginning of the next season for Modern Warfare 3, which is bad news because guess what? Even though a lot of people hate Modern Warfare 3, it's still the hottest point for a COD game. There's still going to be tons of people who would rather choose Modern Warfare 3 over X Defiant, sadly, even though I'll be on X Defiant. But you guys know there's a lot of people who would much rather play Call of Duty with a brand new season. So they have two options again. Either they're going to just have to drop during a hot season in COD, or they're going to have to postpone it even longer. So instead of finally being able to get our hands on this game now, we're probably going to have to wait another two, three, four, five months until this game can finally get launched at a good time and they can find a window to go ahead and drop this thing between a season in Call of Duty and also the brand new Call of Duty game that's going to be launching here that's made by Treyarch, which is definitely not a time they want to release this game because, you know, if there's one team that always thrives, it's Treyarch. Treyarch always pops off when it comes to their games. And you know the COD community is definitely going to want to go ahead and give that a shot. You know what I'm saying? Even for the people who despise COD, I know for a fact, I see it all the time in the comments section, people have been skipping every single Call of Duty release right now, just simply waiting for Treyarch to come out with their next game. People like Treyarch like that. So it's a it's a rough moment for X to find. It really is because they're missing a very good window of opportunity. And now they're going to have to try to figure out another window of opportunity in a field of just crap. And don't forget about all the other games that launched too. I mean, you know, everybody's going to say, well, you know, well, if they wait till mid-season for season three or mid-season for season four, that doesn't guarantee that's not going to be any other games popping off. You know, you have Helldivers 2 that's out right now. That's only going to be improving and becoming better and better as time goes on. Pal Worlds, you know, it's a lot of games that people are enjoying right now. Man, they, they really did miss a massive window of opportunity. But regardless of what anybody says, I personally am still excited for X Define. I'm ready to go ahead and get my hands on. 
I'm just a little worried about this information here, but I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. Do you think it's anything to be concerned about with what Tom Henderson put out here? Or do you think that we should just ignore it and just wait for the launch of the game? Again, uh, I'm going to play it, but I'm just worried because they have to make sure the launch time of this game is good. You know, the launch window is definitely going to be, you know, a, a make or break situation for X Defiant when it comes to bring over a lot of Call of Duty fans, especially during this time when there's a lot of good indie games coming out as well. It, it, it's a hot moment. So I feel like they got to really pick a perfect time to launch this game just to make sure the success of it pops off more than, you know, than what a lot of people are expecting now after such a long wait of getting this game. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. And if you hate it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. We post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And guys, don't forget, you can check out my live streams over on Kick. I do that pretty much daily besides Sundays. And that usually goes live around 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern time. But as always, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.